Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's live. So we'll see who starts showing up. You can see I'm starting uh, projects. I'm nearly trying to get them finished. So yeah, so we've been busy. So how have we all been keeping? Uh, start a Q&A or a poll. Let viewers ask questions or weigh in on a topic. Ooh, okay. That's new. I haven't seen that before. Andrew Fox. Hello, Andrew. How are you keeping? Um, I hope everyone is keeping well on this Easter weekend. Um, it's been a busy weekend for me, anyway. Uh, there will be a couple of videos coming up this evening. Um, Irish Shooting Channel. Hello, how are you? Hey, up. How are things? Um... There'll be a video that you will be interested in, Jude, this evening coming up. Actually, it's two of them you'll probably be interested in. But there is a video coming up this evening that you will probably be interested in. Herefordshire Regimental Museums. Hello from the Afghan Workshop. Hello, Danny. How are you? I hope you're keeping well. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to have a short little uh, Q&A and a live and a chat today because we are... Obviously, it's obviously Easter by Canada. Um... Easter weekend and people are having fun with their families so video that I did earlier on today the, this has knocked things out of sequence is I have done some paperweight pew pew channel thingies that come up and uh, that I got my hands on and I do have a substitute 9 milli thingy me bobby here somewhere, but I can't find it because I wanted to see would it fit into the magazine of the Kingy Me Bobby that uh, I did yesterday. All right, the, of the video that I did. Um, so yeah, free up space to continue. Oh yeah, I know. I, my laptop is getting slow. I need to do it, get rid of stuff. Uh, all good. Busy weekend here too. Had a bit of a rant on YouTube earlier. Oh, I must look that up. Um, we are we always like a good rant every now and again on YouTube, on the tube of the tube. Um, there's nothing like a good rant. So yeah, so it's bugging me that I can't find the substitute thing that I was looking for to put into the bottom of my to see would it work in my. Uh, New substitute thing that I got. Oh, here we go. That is, that is it. Perfect though. Now I need to find my Letterman. That's the I need the calipers. YouTube. These are key rings, by the way. Look, see. Uh, that's nine mil, I think. That one's 38. There's one way to find this out. There's one way to, to experiment here. I thought I had. I thought I had other ones. Yes, because that's 45 ACP. Right, okay. So, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, chaps. Um. Hello friends, hello Terry Savalas, have you followed the series Masters of the Year? Hi all, everything is good. Yeah, I, I have well, seen it, uh, Masters of the Year. Um, a friend of ours actually, my friend of mine and Danny's actually was the costume person on it. Uh, I don't know if I can give out his name, but he was the costume chap on it. Um, I did I did like it, it's a, it's a good series, I don't think it'll be... Um, I don't think you'll get the same cult following that um, the likes of Band of Brothers and the Pacific got. Uh, if you ask me, I think they concentrated a bit too much on the um, side story, the stuff on the ground, um, uh, the stuff that was happening on the... Uh, there was less sexual 
there wasn't as much um there was no very few actual air battles uh i think maybe one or two episodes um so yeah i found that a bit disappointing but it, it's a good story uh, the costumes in it are fantastic guys keep an eye out on them um but yeah it's good it's good Uh, hey all, everything good? Irish shooting channel. Audie Murphy was Irish. Audie Murphy was actually he was born in America, but he came from Irish family. Um, so there you go. Uh, Stan is in the man cave getting pissed. Well, that's good, Stan. Uh, Terry is saying hello, Stan. Perfect way to spend an Easter, Stan. Yes, it is. Uh, Dickie Bass, yes, Dickie Bass was the costume guy for Masters of the Air, and he's done other work. He's 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 a see that's was his job. He does all those movies and stuff like that. Very very good uh, costumes on it, and the 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 attention to detail in the sets and stuff like that, and the actual uniforms and all that. Second time, absolutely fantastic. Um, as I said, for me personally myself, uh, I. Uh, I found it very hard to follow, to, certainly because, like with Band of Brothers, it was the one company where you got to know all the guys. With Pacific, it was like two or three guys, um, and they were easy to follow. Um, uh, Masters of the Air, it's not one crew, it's like a, a an air group, and I don't know much about air forces, groups and squadrons and all this type of stuff, so I found that hard to, to, to figure out, but there is like two or three main characters in it that they follow, um, but personally for me, I, I'd like to have seen more of the air actual combat stuff than, than, than they portray it, like it would be... Um, on some of the episodes and some of the series, so some of the uh, the things that were happening was the guys would go away on a, a mission, shall we say, and you'd see them take off on the mission, and then you'd see them coming back, cut the ribbons, but no actual fighting or no actual air battle part of it. One or two episodes, yes, but the, after that, not really. Um, and I, I, I think it was just a shame that they could have. Um, done a bit more, but that's just me. Um, still, I'm staying. Cheers, Terry. Yes, indeed, Jude, mate. Terry Savalas. I thought there was quite a few mistakes in Masters of the Year, namely the GMC trucks in the Luftwaffe camp, and the Luftwaffe Eagle was missing a Luftwaffe uniform. Huh? And the Luftwaffe Eagle was missing from a Luftwaffe uniform. I don't know, I couldn't answer that now because I haven't seen anything like that, but from what I've seen, um, I was impressed with the kit and stuff like that. And you're going to get one or two little things that will just go... You're just going to get... Uh, you're just going to get sideswiped with things. Um, like a, um, a GMC truck being used by the Luftwaffe. No, we know in North Africa there was jeeps and land and vehicles swapping left, right, and centre. Um, the German army were using French tanks right up until the end of the war that they captured in 1939. So I mean, look, it, 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 yes, obviously a GMC truck in in the heart of Germany it mightn't be the best thing, but yeah, I, I could, people can be get too too ethnical or too too anal about the the little details. Um, when it's the broader aspect of things you're trying to look for, but yeah, I understand. Yes, you wouldn't see them there. Um, I understand that. Um, I'm keen on watching the Tom Hanks movie Greyhound. Any thoughts? Greyhound is fantastic. I love Greyhound. Greyhound would be one of my definitely my top five war movies. Greyhound would. I love Greyhound. I think it's fantastic. Kit, uh, the equipment, the tactics. The fear, the whole lot, um, is fantastic in Greyhound. So definitely, definitely worth a watch. Give it a give it a Greyhound. Give Greyhound a watch. Um, Cold War kit sale. Drop me a line for videos. Yes, if anybody wants to, uh, Danny is um, 
getting rid of some Cold War stuff. So if any of you want to give him a bell or a message, he will look after you. Uh, still in a stand. Uh, great. Story stand. Uh, Tavares with you both voice. Uh, both voice is in it. Um, I, uh, yeah, I really like it. Uh, I wish the UK made war movies. I can never understand why those was never why there never was a demand movie made from the Falklands War. Um, easily could be filmed and the higher Hebrides in Scotland. Uh, the only Falklands War movies that I know of is the uh, Ungentlemanly Act is one and I can't remember the name of it but it's the one where Lawrence he was a he was a cold stream guards captain got shot in the head and lost a lot of his brain but still survived it. I can't remember I can't remember what it was called. The the Ungentlemanly Act and Tumbledown. Tumbledown, that's what it's called. They're the only two Falklands movies I, I know of. I did have this chat with Danny one time about the did he know of any other Falklands war movies that was going on? Um, but yeah. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by the new Top Gun. I only watched it recently. Uh, aerial combat scenes were class. Uh, yeah, it, that's a good movie as well. That is a very, very good movie. Jim Timber, hello, how are you? Greyhound, uh, supreme movie. Stan Bro yeah, it is. It's fantastic. Terry Svalas, 1974. Thank you. I think it's on Apple TV. I don't mind paying a one-off, but not a membership for that film. Uh, yeah, Stan, well worth a watch. If you can get a hold of it, um, watch that film, Greyhound. It's fantastic. Uh, I meant superb uh, for lots of fluids to the brain. <laughs> um, shooting channel, okay. That's my viewing for tonight, sort of. Which, the Greyhound, yeah, fantastic movie. Uh, okay, Timbers, you're... Uh, so, um, props more the lack of original Wehrmacht lorries would be captured US... Would have been captured US trucks in the rear lines used by German same as weapons. Yeah, I, I see your point, Danny. Um, sure, that our, our portrayal of the uh, number two SAS were famous for wearing or for having um, captured weapons. I've been taught how to use captured weapons in Jeeps. Um, was it a Kugel wagon? That Sterling used in, in, in North Africa. Um, and he called, what did he call it? The Storm Buggy or something. I can't remember what it was called. But yeah, they did. Uh, Still have a is the Thomas War Movie Week here. You know him from Downfall playing. There are some... There are some to films of the Falklands, but they are terrible. I, I, I know there was an Argentinian one that was muck, um, because the actual English lads in it um, had Argentinian accents, which was even funnier. Um, but yeah, uh, I had another boat that toilet has been flushed so much. <laughs> the pipes arguing more than mine. Tumbledown, yes, Tumbledown is a good film. Um, I like Tumbledore. Uh, why did it have to be necessary to put the Red Tails in Masters of the Air again? A bit tired of it. I don't necessarily know. Um, that's one thing that I don't know. Um, like with um, with the likes of Band of Brothers and with the likes of um, Pacific. It, uh, it was easier plot the war, if you get me. Um, obviously, you did a uh, market garden, uh, things like that. Um, so with, with, with Pacific, you had uh, uh, Guadalcanal, you had the, uh, back to Australia. You, you, you could plot the war, if you get me. With Masters of the Air, it was raid after raid. So... 
there's I think there's one episode and it's not really it's not really it's it's sort of brushed over. It was the planning for D Day and the bombing campaign for D Day and things like that. And the the actual D Day landing was a flashback in one of the pilots' minds when he was telling another guy the actual story. I don't want to give it away too much. So yeah, so it was a bit bit different that way but uh, uh, but as i said lads it's a good watch it is good um it, it, the special effects in it are unbelievable the the kit the the surroundings the the detail that i went into in doing the sets is unbelievable um as i said personally for me i just don't think it has the same um it's it's not going to get the same cult following as the likes of Band of Brothers and Pacific, um, and those type of movies, um, like the, the it's just it's just not. I just don't think it is. But other than that, it's a fantastic watch. You should watch it. Like you should watch it. Um, uh, still a mistake as well as yes, Thomas. Uh, uh, he plays every German officer in the movie, modern movies, but he does a great job. He does actually do a great job. Uh, there was another guy in the 60s and 70s who was famous as well for playing German officers in the likes of um, lots and lots of movies. Um, for Queen and Country is a great movie, although it only touches on the Falklands at the start. I can't remember watching that one for Queen and Country. I don't know. Alert, alert. Timbers pipes are flowing too much. Uh, Sterling had an opal named the Blitzwagon. That was it. Um, but I do know that they, they, they did confiscate and capture weapons and jeeps and vehicles and stuff like that. They used them themselves. Um, uh, did it, did it, did it, still have a stand. Oh, hang on a second. Still have a stand. Haha, <laughs> this virus is taking the piss out of me front and back and the fox the irish war film i thought i forgot what it's called set in africa based on a true story the siege of jedeville andrew or jedeville um depending who you are very 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 good movie fantastic movie and from knowing a lot of veterans and talking to a lot of veterans a lot of true happenings in that movie um and you have the controversial one of the sniper dropping his the infield tee to pick up a brain gun to shoot uh, at a guy um a single shot just loading the one round into it this is going to be if you haven't seen the movie this is going to be a bit of a, a killer or not a killer but a bit of a giveaway right from what i've talked to veterans and stuff like that Something like that did happen at Jedeville, but it wasn't a sniper. It was actually a guy who was being an observer, and he was seen to be an observer of the battle and, and, and stuff like that. And the machine gunner, the brain gunner, knew that the range was more than the sniper rifle and took a pop shot at him and hit him um that's the actual real story behind it um and they just dramatize it a bit more that's the so-called story that i heard um of what happened um and they dramatized it in Genova. um turning the land rover upside down or turning the jeep upside down so they could use the vickers lying on their backs to try and take down aircraft also did happen um, I believe I, I've heard stories of that happening. Um, um, and believe it or not, in the movie in Jedeville, more leads were wounded in the movie than were actually wounded in real life. There was, I think it was like one or two guys that had minor injuries, cuts and bruises and stuff like that. Um, but the reason that they made more guys wounded in the actual movie was because they said that nobody would actually believe that no one got wounded really in real life. When in real life it was actually true that there was not really any seriously wounded guys. One or two guys had had minor cuts and bruises and stuff like that. Um, 
So yeah, there you go. But great film, Siege of Gentlemen. Um, Jim Timber was it a uh, square? <laughs> Jim Timber. A different movie altogether, Kelly. Not sure. Andrew Fox, you must mean the Siege at Jedeville. Yes, the Siege at Jedeville. Great movie. Um, actually, well, like when when it comes to the Irish making military movies, they do a fantastic job of it. Like with Mikey Collins, The Wind That Shakes the Barley, The Siege of Jedeville. Um, they did all the beach. Well, there was Irish extras and Irish film crew or Irish crews that were used, as in film crews and stuntmen and stuff like that because it was filmed in Ireland the initial beach landing set or beach assault in Save a Private Ride um, so yeah so they, like, when they do do war movies and, and military movies like that they do a good job of it um, well I believe they do a good job of it anyway. uh, the American army was segregated during World War 2 as was the Air Force the Navy I'm unsure Movies should just reflect actually how it was. Warts and all. Warts and all. Yes, the Navy was not segregated to the same extent that the Army and the Navy was. Colours or black people, coloured people, whatever way you want to call them, could serve on Navy ships during the Second World War. They just not could serve in a certain appointment. So they were mainly used as laundrymen, cooks, uh, galley attendants, waiters, uh, things like that. Um, a chap that broke that mould was, he was a cook. Uh, forgive me, I forget his name. He was a cook uh, at Pearl Harbour. When Pearl Harbour broke out, he managed to get himself onto a machine gun. And I think he took down one or two um, Japanese zeros. And he was upgraded to become a gunner's mate. He also won, I think it was the Congressional Medal of Honor. I think he was the first coloured person during the Second World War to win the Congressional Medal of Honor. Forgive me, I forget his name, because I'm doing this off the top of my head. But, uh, fantastic, fantastic guy. And he sort of broke the mould. So, the Navy, um, I won't say stop segregation but it became more acceptable if you get me uh, there was there was certain cases where a blind eye was turned whereas in the army and the air force it wasn't um so if that makes any if that makes any difference um that was Hardy Hardy Core. He was the one who got away. Oh, you're talking. You're still talking about that German actor, let's see. Uh, yes, Irish Shooting Channel. That's the one. He's been in a couple of times. Yeah, Jim Timber, Queen and Country was also a sequel from Hope and Glory. Huh? Queen and Country stars Denzel Washington. Don't think you're talking about the same movie, though. Um, have you got a Congo medal from Jedeville? I don't have a Congo medal from Jedeville, but I do have a Congo medal. Do, 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 do. I do have a Congo medal, UN Congo medal, but I don't have a Jedeville one. Uh, the Jedeville ones are, are slightly different. There's a, a big dispute going on here at the moment. In Ireland, it's still going on. It's been going on for years now that they want the guys who were in Jadaville to receive the DSM, which is like the equivalent, the Irish equivalent of the Victoria Cross. Um, they want an awful lot of guys to receive it. There's a big campaign going on, and it's still going on at the moment. See, let me say, Irish Shooting Channel, the link for a brain shot. It was an armor's bench. It was a, it was an armor's bench. Yes, you are correct. I have seen it. Stan, you sent it to me actually, and I watched it. I never got back to you on it. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a good it's 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 a, it's a good comparison. It is a good comparison. There is an Irish guy as well. He was a he was a captain or a colonel, colonel or something or whatever in the American army. He did a small bit of time in the reserves here, and 
he went on to do it and uh, to serve in the American Army. He did a good video as well on on the actual whole brain shot as well. Uh, Terry Savalas, German actors in the 1960s. Uh, I, mean, I can't even pronounce half of them names. Terry Savalas, personally, I thought that both was a more interesting series, John. I haven't seen the, the actual Das Boot series. I need to look it up. I have seen the original movie, but I haven't seen the series. Uh, Irish Super Channel. We do good jobs in historical documentaries too, or at least I do. The more blanks they use, the more moolah I make. Exactly. Um, Terry Savalas, Ian Sonshaw plans a Falklands Brits first pair of veteran in the film American Star Lay movie. Okay. Uh, his name was Doris. Can't remember his family name. Is that the guy from the Navy? If I remember. Um, Terry Wanpara wasn't in the Falklands. Andrew movie mistake. Yeah. He got the Navy Cross. Oh, so it wasn't the, 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 the Congressional Medal of Honor. It was the yeah. Navy Cross he got. Oh, okay. Um, the Irish Human Channel, Steve Hubbard. Yes, it was. The Armour's Bench Forgotten Weapons 2-1-2. Two, two. Um, Andrew Fox. Doris Miller is the name of the Black Sailor in Pearl Harbor. Ah, oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you very much, Andrew Fox. Um, Do you also have an Iron Cross from World War One? I? I don't. I don't have actually much German stuff. Um, I need. I, I. I will eventually, at some point in time, start collecting bits and bobs of German stuff. But I don't. Um, one reason I never got into German stuff. Now I'm being taught by some friends of mine, such as Danny Reese, Steve Mustan, people like that. Um, the reason I didn't get into it was because of the amount of forgeries and fakes and reproduction that were going around. But uh, slowly, slowly, I'm, I'm trying to get... I, I will I will pick up bits and pieces here and there. Zero for Seven coming this week is a DDR t-shirt, uh, one set of K98 World War Two ammo pouches, a pair of German post-war bino repair job, and a Mark IV police helmet I will keep. Will keep me occupied. Yes, that will keep you occupied for a while. I propose a multi-channel meet-up at Military Odyssey this year. No excuses, anyway. Yes, I think everyone, if you're going to be at Odyssey this year, you should come and see us, because me and Danny will be there. Two bad battalion wars in the Falklands. Still held my stand, a nice collection. Two and three pair in the Falklands. 1974 French Resistance film uh, features the Black Gestapo, a Black Gestapo agent. I didn't know that, Andrew. I didn't, I didn't know there was... I, I look forget me now forgive me now for what I'm about to say but historically wise weren't the Nazis didn't the Nazis believe that people of colour were subservient and beneath them so that would be a complete uh, complete made up piece of fiction if there was a black SAS or black SS officer uh, Herefordshire Regimental Museum, John is, and I already had in Cork. Yes, we did actually. We were in Cork. I went up to Cork a few weeks ago and I met up with um, Jude. We did some videos down there for the Irish Shooting Channel with myself. Um, they have been pushed off till next week because some stuff came in the post this week um, that I did a deal with. I was shooting Channel 4, so I said I'd do a video on that and some other bits and bobs. So that's coming up tonight, and uh, the other stuff is being pushed up till next week. Um, Terry Savalas, yes, indeed, I can't go a week without a parcel or two. Um, have you seen the snow? Oh, show of shows, military show videos. I have seen them, and me and Danny have it on our bucket list, uh, Herefordshire Regimental Museums. We will be going to the show of shows. When it is, when we will be going, we don't know. Maybe not next year, but the year after. Um, 
we will be going to the uh, show of shows. Uh, I plan on trying to get to some stuff in Ireland this year. I will be hitting the UK again for one more show. Uh, possibly two, I'm not sure, but definitely one, uh, which is going to be Odyssey. Um, I, will, I am I'm going to try and get to Yorkshire as well, but we'll wait and see whether that happens or not, but sure, we'll get there. Um, I got a few German medals, two world crosses, World War One and World War Two. Um, more than I got, Andrew, because I don't have any any uh, German stuff. Irish YouTube channel, but Cork is not Odyssey. The hundreds of stalls, beer tent party every night. Exactly, and I'm looking so forward to it. Germans had Italian, Bosnia. Germans had Indian, Bosnian, Muslims. Arabic soldiers from the Soviet Union uh, and their photos of black troops in very much uniforms. Also, there is a film of Korean troops in the Atlantic. Yes, I understand that. I understand they did have them, but they were used, uh, from what I understand, they were used and abused. They weren't treated very nicely. They weren't treated very well because they weren't, um, they weren't Aryan for want of a better word um, so yeah um, and like obviously for a guy for a coloured chap to be in the Gestapo when the Gestapo was a branch of the SS where it was we are the true Aryan race blonde hair blue eyes and all that type of stuff I can't see it happening. I wouldn't see it happening, but that's just me. Uh, all 100% true. Yeah, I know. I, know I, I don't doubt you. I know it's true. I know it is true. Uh, I think it was the 12th. Uh, later on in the war, was it the 12th or the 13th SS? Were a Muslim, complete Muslim guy from the Balkans. They wore the, the Fez. Um, and they were fucking, apparently, absolutely ridiculously notorious for what they did um i will get to the show of shows within the next week yes we will danny we definitely will uh i will get oh sorry still have a stand yes indeed seeing those pictures the germans did have sikhs with turbans in the ss they were captured in North Africa. Yes, they were. Um, in the German army, they also had part Jewish lads. Uh, have you been to the Odyssey before? I, I haven't. I've never been to Odyssey before. 13th SS. That show was a uh, Muslim division. That's the one. The Germans didn't treat the Eastern soldiers well either. With was the Brits and French attitude towards colonial troops. Exactly. It would have been universally good uh, thank god things have moved on even jobs uh, even pubs in Britain were shut down and made out of bounds for serving back exactly what was it in, um, was it Glasgow was it Glasgow uh, I think they had the, the race riots because the uh, the the um, locals and the were they, they accepted them they, they, they accepted them and let them into pubs and stuff like that and the other gis that were serving there didn't couldn't figure this out and there was a there was the race riots i think it was glasgow they had the race riots. i think it was a couple of guys killed as well over it. um uh what do you think of excavated 19 or World War Two relics, and do you have anything like that? I don't have excavated World War Two relics, um, and the reason that I don't like World War Two excavated art, art, uh, artifacts is unless I'm there and they're physically digging out of the ground, I would take it with a pinch of salt, because I think it was it could be Jim Timber actually told me that he knew a guy. Or uh, I can't remember if it was a Stan. He would um, 
bury stuff in his back garden and dig it up whenever there was an, uh, another military fair on and go sell it as as uh, relics. And whatever he didn't sell, he would bury it again in his back garden and dig it up again for the next fair. So, yeah, so I, I would take relics, unless I'm physically there, with a pinch of salt. Uh, not saying all dealers are bad. Not saying all dealers are, are <coughs> up to something, but that's just me. Um, there is a good book about the subject, Hitler's Jewish soldiers, the untold story of the Nazi racial laws, the men of Jewish dis descent in the uh, descent in the German military. Yeah, I presume guys got in and, and slipped through the <coughs> slipped through the the cracks. Uh, Irish shooting channel. My thoughts were that the Brits or locals didn't understand the segregation, and there wasn't much animosity between the Brits and the Americans, black servicemen. Yeah, I know there wasn't actually. It was it was the the their own kind, unfortunately. Uh, Kenny Rebel, hello top. Yep, I worked with a twat like that, a person who would bury stuff and sell it on. <coughs> yes, there is a bloke who used to treat old metal bits using various methods to make them look old. <coughs> so yeah, so there we go. Right guys, so we're going to give it another five minutes. Because I'm losing my voice for some reason. I haven't brought no water with me. Uh, I'll give it another five minutes. And um, we'll log off for tonight. As I said, there will be some videos coming up. But tonight and we will see how we get on. I've got two US Cups from the Ardennes that were dug up. One date in 1943. And the other 1980. Well, that's cool. I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with it. But I'm just saying, hey, I, personally myself, I just don't like the idea. If those... Fires continue, I'm going to have to dig up my plumbing. Um, still have to stand. The locals didn't understand that the black GI's money was every bit as good as everyone else's and as army brass made those decisions, yeah. So that's it. Right, guys, so we're going to head off. Uh, we'll see you all next week. Same time. Um, hang on, I'll just double check just to make sure. I will check my calendar to tell you what time we are doing a live next week. Uh, yes, so we will be doing a live on the Friday. Friday night, 8 o'clock. Same time, same channel. Tune in. So, guys, have a good one. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, have a safe week, uh, Easter weekend. Enjoy it with your families. Um, every time you spend with your family is, is a privilege. So, enjoy, guys. I'll see you all same uh, Friday night, 8 o'clock, uh, for some more crap talk. So, enjoy yourselves. Have a great weekend.